New at 6 o'clock tonight, there are new disturbing allegations against Buffalo Bills star running back LaShawn McCoy. The mother of his son says McCoy has abused their child. It's a claim he strongly denies. Channel 2's Michael Wooten is now looking into this developing story for us. Michael, what is the latest? Yeah, Scott Mary Alice, this is all coming out in these court documents that were filed in the case that's been playing out between LaShawn McCoy and his ex-girlfriend, Delicia Corden. We've been talking about that case a lot. She was the victim of that home invasion that happened at a house that McCoy owns down in Georgia. Now, as part of that case, we got this affidavit today from Stephanie Masonette. She and McCoy have a six year old son together. Masonette says after that home invasion, McCoy asked her to be a character witness for him in exchange for concessions in their custody case with their son. She says she reluctantly helped him, but then changed her mind. And then she accused McCoy of child abuse. Here are the quotes. Take a look at this. She says even she says, I even made a report about LaShawn McCoy abusing our son to child services prior to the home invasion. That case is still pending. Our son would often come home with bruises in which I would consistently receive outlandish excuses as to where the bruises would come from. She goes on to say, quote, our son would cry hysterically whenever he had to spend time with LaShawn McCoy. I regret ever agreeing to help LaShawn McCoy in this case. He should not get away with potentially orchestrating this heinous incident. And then she finishes by saying this. I feel like I'm sending our son to a monster every two weeks. LaShawn McCoy should be held accountable for his actions, regardless of his career choice or his income. Now, this legal document also showed a picture of their son with visible bruises on his face. We obviously are not showing that image due to his young age. Now McCoy responded to all of this with an Instagram post late this afternoon. He said the allegations are provably false, outrageously inaccurate and offensive. He said that he has a loving and close knit relationship with his son and that the young boy is his whole life. He said with this custody case coming up in November, I can see why these false allegations are surfacing right now. I'm Michael Wooten reporting. Scott Mary Alice back to you.